Hey guys, this is Mr. Sunny Claus and welcome back to another episode of Off the Wagon and the amazingly brilliant little game known as Psychonauts. Oh yes, it's time to teach old Boney here a lesson and help Fred beat his ancestor. Alright, yep, what we need to do is actually head on in here because there's something stuck in the gears for this drawbridge here and then we need to get a hearty knight from over here so let's go do this thing yeah probably not the thing is I do believe that there is a A cannon over here, yeah. Actually, there are two cannons. That is bad. It is bad news. Oh hell, and that is even worse, honestly. Ugh. Seriously? And another cannon over here. Okay, let's... Let's go deal with that one first. Camera, camera. There we go. And get rid of. Damn it. Get rid of you. Bye bye. Here we go. And. Well, actually, let's do it like this. Quite simply because. Well. I do think I can do it. <laughs> I could. That is very cool. Now, I can't really... Whoops! Hello! There are a lot of you guys here, aren't there? Wow. I am... Uh, in some trouble right now. So, let's do it like this. And... Let's grab one of these instead, I think. Yes. And let's... Smoke you! <coughs> Hopefully smoke you all. Burn. <laughs> there we go. Oh, seriously. What are you kidding me? That should take care of you. Good, good, good. And you are going to be on fire now. Wow, he just, like, totally ran away, huh? I would get some health out of that. Oh, damn you. Thank you. Get that, and get out of the way of the cannon. Okay. That's better. Cleared this up a bit, and someone is... Well, there's a sensor shooting at me over there. And we've got the cannon here. And the cannon there, yeah. Can't actually reach them like that, so, need to do something completely different, oh hell, damn it, what are you kidding me, stop shooting at me, wait, oh, there we go, that's it, that's where I wanted to go, some some of these things and there we go yeah, sometimes the seriously that was so bad <laughs> oh man up we go and up, up, oops, poop, twiddly D, and there we go. Come on, grab on, good boy, and burn. I said burn. The 
Yep, I told you so. Seriously? Why am I not getting this figment? There we go, thank you. And... There we go. Whew. Super Chain Blast, yeah, I know. That is actually pretty cool. It is actually pretty cool. And... Down I go. <sighs> amazing, amazing, okay. Let's let's do it like this because it just it will make this so much easier. So there we go. Can I just like no? I can't actually. There we go. And oh, really? Come on. Move, Raz. Move, Raz. Thank you. Can't actually do it like that. And let's just do it like this. There we go. And bye-bye. And away we go again. Over here and bye bye. That is a really useful thing to do, though. Because uh, now, well, we get rid of this guy, and of course, now we're actually gonna do this and remove it. <laughs> Sucker. Well, the thing is, in here, there is at least a cannon and that vault there. So, we need to head on in here. I think there's a cannon anyway. No, there. Oh, no, there isn't. So, but... Nope. It's just the vault, so let's go punch that. Now, that's something you don't see every day. Fred versus Napoleon. Yep. <clears throat> there we go. So in this case, it really wasn't God who told him. And here we go. Let's grab that one and... Oh, we go. Seriously? Up we go. Thank you. And let's see... Cobweb Duster, and all cleared! So, now we need to go grab ourselves a hearty knight, which is going to take some doing, because the bastard is hungry, of course. And, uh, in deference to, well, almost all, Prejudice against French? Can you possibly guess what he's hungry for? Well, let's go. Just go talk to him. Hello? Sorry, I can't storm Napoleon's stronghold today. Too weak. Oh, okay. Want me to call a doctor? I'm not sick. I just can't find any decent food around here. An army moves on its stomach, you know. An elite force such as I require an elite cuisine, I'm afraid. Oh, well, I'll keep on the lookout for some place with good takeout. Only the best, young lad. I am a Frenchman, 
and anything but the finest French delicacy might bruise my palate and leave me unable to storm anything, save the vomitorium. Yeah. Okay, so what we need to do now is go grab ourselves some escargot. And yes, that is snails for those of you who don't know. And they are over here. Hang on. Yep, it's an orchard. And you don't really need to worry about if you kill any of these things, because... There we go. I am no longer here. There we go. Easy. Now, we just need to get rid of this damn cannon. And we'll be in business. Well, honestly, I could, I could just, you know, run around like this and grab those snails, but where's the fun in that? I want to use a lot more powers. Well, here we go. We actually got uh, a lot of figments up in these trees here. Well, I'm not going to be running around <laughs> grabbing these things. It's just so much easier to do this. Come on. There we go. Thank you. And we've got ourselves nine and damn you. Ten. Okay, snails. It's time to serve the cause. So be it. If it is truly a time of war, then we are ready. We can no longer pull our heads into our shells and hide. We are, after all, armored warriors, and this is our land too. We may not be fast, but we always march upon the glittering path of righteousness, for we created ourselves from our hearts. Lead us onward, and let us eat holes in the leaves of Napoleon's garden. Wow. Right on. <laughs> yeah, I love these snails, they're so cool. Well, this is actually the easiest way to get these all these pigments down. You just punch the trees. All oh, these apple catchers, I suppose. They're supposed to be or something like that, I'm not entirely sure. Never actually worked with anything like this. So, there we go. Just punch them until the figments fall down. There we go. Getting a nice load of figments here. And in a fairly easy spot as well. Which is always nice. And by that I mean they're actually fairly easy to actually get the damn a hold of. Grab ourselves some birds, and then after I'm done with this little part, I'm going to go and um, utilize our new recruits. They may actually become somewhat disappointed and most likely also covered in garlic there we go and just the last tree here come on I missed that one. That was kind of annoying. Okay. Time to head to the champagne cork. And up, diddly up, up. Let's grab the snails. Snails in a bucket. And 
plonk them down right outside the restaurants. Charge! Delicious! I haven't had escargot like that since the Duchess's birthday. But even those were not so full of spirit. I am truly inspired. Come, let us storm Napoleon's stronghold and win this game for Fred Bonaparte. <clears throat> but do hurry. I believe I may be hungry again soon. Well, looking at you, I'm not entirely surprised, I gotta say. There we go. Let's grab that little figment and head on over to the champagne cork. Oh yeah, I might as well mention this. I don't think I've actually done that. That you can... Um, you can actually go back and play all these maps again whenever you want, as long as you head into the Brain Tumbler at Session 9's uh, Session 9's lab. So, whenever you miss something like that, if you play this game, you just need to head back in there, and you can just go grab everything that you, that you missed. <laughs> Your walls are no thicker than the crust of a creme brulee. Behold the mighty tapping of my spoon. What is this? Fred! Did you do this? Huh? Uh, what? I can't believe it! You! You are a Bonaparte! There is some Napoleon in your veins after all! Well, m maybe. Finally! I can resign myself back into my glorious history. The future is yours, Fred Bonaparte. You are indeed a true warrior. Go forth, and fight all your battles with the same determination you showed here, and your life will be an endless parade of victories, like mine. Yes, well, except for that last one, the one in Waterloo. Mm, I was sick that day. Very bad stomach cramp, let me tell you. That's why I've always got my hand tucked in here, you know? <laughs> You'll find out when you're older. It's uh, hereditary. Is he really gone? Hello? Hello? Anyone else in here? Ha! We did it, Raz! I'm all me again. One person. Not French. Get me out of this dang jacket so I can go strangle me an orderly. Hey, good thinking, Fred. That sure would save me a lot of work. Yep! Right after I take a nap. Yes! Uh, what? Nap? Uh, war is hell, Rasputin. And I am sleepy. Uh, I'll take care of Crispin for you, just as soon as I... I, uh... Oh, man. Yeah, thanks a lot there, Freddy boy. Hello? Nope. <laughs> looks better up there, and that one looks better. In there. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> no, actually, let's not play around too much. We need to go and get the last piece of the puzzle, as it were. We need to go talk to this guy. What you painting there? That is my patron, my psychiatrist, my warden. Looks like Dr. Lobato to me. Is he the one who chained you up? The doctor won't let me go until I complete my treatment. So why don't you just finish the painting and go home? Why don't I just... See? Sometimes you just have to... Huh. You painted a bullfight over the doctor's face. Why a bullfight? Huh? 
Huh, Edgar, why do you... Every time! Every time it is the same! The Matador! The Bull! How I despise you both! But my hands won't let you go! Ah! That is why I am here, chained in more ways than you can see. A prisoner of art. A prisoner of art. Well, uh, I'm gonna go downstairs. You good? I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> oh, I love this guy. <laughs> All right. So now... What we need to do is not do anything more today. <laughs> Suckers. Yeah. Um, as you can see, he uh, was painting a portrait of Dr. Lobato, and well, I, I, you probably have guessed by now, if you hadn't didn't already know, we've got a straight jacket, and we've got the trophy. So we've got the claw and the jacket. So now we now just need to actually, damn it, look like Dr. Lovato. Which means we need a painting of his face. So we need to enter Edgar's mind and sort out his troubles. But I'm not going to be doing that for right now. That'll be the next episode. Well, probably two, possibly. Anyway. For now though, guys... I leave you by saying Auf Wienerschnitzel, dear slackers. Remember, just because you're allowed to do something does not actually make it a good idea. Bye!